What's going on, guys? Today, I'm here to talk about this Exodia deck. Uh, it's pretty pretty OP, I'm not going to lie. Um, it went about 20 to 30 games before I lost one. And uh, I fought some pretty good meta decks. So, let's get right into it. So, obviously, the first thing you're going to need for this deck is your Exodia pieces. Because, um probably the best uh, thing you should have in this deck. Then you're going to have your searcher cards. You're going to have nine of them. All right. You're going to have th three sand gans. Let's pull an Exodia piece to your hand. You're going to have th three emissaries of the afterlife to pull to your hand. And you're going to have three Witch of the Black Forests to get to your hand. So, that was easy enough. Now, your draw power of the deck. Your draw power is going to be uh, quite a bit of draw power. So you're going to have three card cardies. Three Pot of Dualities. Three Legacies of the Adigaritsu. Three Reckless Greeds. Three Jar of Greeds. And then one of each of Upstart Goblin and one Day of Peace. That's uh, quite a bit of draw power. That's probably at least half your deck. Alright, then you're going to have a few like two searcher cards in a way ones you can't really control ledgers all right i just used two of them this will allow you to banish three of your you know your top cards and pull them back in your hand after three turns so on your third turn so it's you know random uh, sometimes it gets cards out of the way so you can draw exodia pieces um it's it's really not that bad of a card it, it helps <clears throat> then you're gonna have three uh, spell mining cave, or I forget what it's probably. Gonna, it's I think it's gonna be called something different in the TCG, but pretty much what this card allows you to do is when your opponent has more monsters than you their monster effects are they can't activate them and they can't attack um, only you can now the same thing it's vice versa so make sure you don't have a lot of those monsters we showed on the field for them to attack pretty much you want to just take some life point damage so you're going to use them one of those monsters to attack one of theirs and so you could destroy it so you can get a piece of exodia into your hand a lot easier but so this card's pretty uh, OP. Now the only thing is, make sure you don't end your turn with the same amount of monsters as them, because then this card will be destroyed. But um, like I said, you have I'm gonna have a couple cards here, like terraforming to bring them out, and metaverse to help bring them out. Um, so if your opponent would try to, or you would accidentally end your turn, and you would have the same amount of monsters, and it would be destroyed then you have a chance to bring it back out on your opponent's turn. Um, or, you know, vice versa, if your opponent decides to purposely leave one monster to match yours and destroy that card. Because, uh, like I said, it's pretty overpowered. And, uh, but it's a very necessary card. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up. Uh, hopefully, you know, comment in the description below. Um, any other cards you found to be useful in this um, but yeah smash that like button and uh, hopefully you will subscribe because there will be more videos plan on making a couple more deck uh, profiles and a dual power opening and um, even a special card giveaway so smash that subscribe button leave a comment in below and uh, when I do the dual power opening that's when I will do a giveaway have a good day.